Hello, welcome to another episode from the Survivorcraft server. This is Jutlike speaking, and I am sad to announce that I had recorded this wonderful introduction, and when I went to edit this video, I discovered the introduction was recorded without sound. So, I made a mistake. Instead, I am recording this little clip, and I am telling you that we are now going straight into the video with no introduction whatsoever. Welcome back to my newly built ice farm, here at my place. And now, we are going to fill it up with water, and see what happens. You can see here, I have finished building it all with safety rails and everything. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break this block. This makes it a water source. Then we make a water source here, and then we should be able to just continue all around and putting down water like so. Yes, and once this is done, I will remove the dirt, and once the dirt is removed, we are going to see if this actually freezes over and becomes quite a useful ice farm that is going to supply a server with renewable ice that you do not have to go into the wonderful ice biomes to destroy them. Ah, there it is. Whew! Let's grab one bucket of water. <laughs> this is not very beautiful looking at the moment, but it is functional. And hello! There we have our visitor, Cisco. And I have to say hello. And then we are going to take down these. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. And now we'll see if this gets to a point where it starts freezing over. Oh, I need to exchange my <laughs> yeah, shovel. So this is it. My ice farm is now functional. Now how to pretty it up? Well, on the outside I'm going to build with some ice, of course. We are going to get a lot of ice from this. And once that is done, uh, we will also have a lot of ice that we can sell to the rest of the members of this server. Let me see how far is it left now. Oh, 100 blocks. Yeah, but now we are soon here. And this is it. Now we have filled it up and it is starting to be filling up with ice. There is one thing I have not shown you on camera yet, and that is the gift that I got from Fodi the Turker. Uh, it has taken a little time to show that on camera. It was a while back, a couple of episodes in fact. But I can put up a picture on the screen. I think I managed to do that by now. And uh, I did not, unfortunately not, uh, take a picture of the contents, but I have them stored in a chest, so if we take a look at that, one moment, this one, this was the content of the gift from Phone in the Turtle. Armor stands, I'm going to use those. Nether quartz was really good, because I don't have any from before. And pistons! I may actually find some use for them now. 
a little bit of lapis, a little bit of glowstone, some horse armors, some magma blocks, and some sea lanterns. I think that I have not used any one of these resources, but I don't remember. I could have taken out a couple of few things. I am not 100% sure, actually. That was the gift from Fawny the Turtle that I got a while back. Nice people on this server bringing me gifts and everything. I think I like it here very, very much. Now, back to the ice farm. It looks like my little experiment with having the torches up here at this height shows that these blocks will not freeze being that close to the torches. I had hoped that they would, but maybe I have to put them one block higher. Or maybe I'll just replace them with sea lanterns and then see if I put sea lanterns on top of these logs. If that makes the distance between the light and the water high enough so that the water will actually freeze. Um, as you can see, it has frozen all the way um, here, but it stops freezing when we arrive at this block here. So I think that one, two, and this is the third block down and one over, that makes this water not freeze. So I will replace these torches with sea lanterns on top across all, and then we will see if that actually makes the water freeze or not. Hello. I am ice skating around on my new ice farm in Minecraft. It is snowing, it is winter, it is wonderful, everything that you could want from a winter. And it is wonderful, just ice skating around. You know, it doesn't go that uh, fast really because I have to shift <laughs> in order to look like a skater maybe whoops i have reached the end of the end of the track i will have to turn and go back and we go from side to side from side to side this is actually <laughs> the closest thing i ever come to ice skating in this game behind me is the finished product this far it is an operational ice farm and we are going to start testing out how many, well I could have calculated it but uh, why would I do that when I can do a little bit of a test? I'm going to use my silk touch pick of course, the one with mending on it and I'm going to see how many blocks of blue eyes I can get from this farm in one go. But before we do that, I of course had to do something about the map. Here it is in my hand. Here it is. Uh, I think uh, it doesn't show up that particularly well. Uh, I see some blue beneath me right now. Uh, I don't see much else. I guess it is better if we walk away from here. <laughs> so that we can actually see it. Uh, okay, now I see nothing of where I'm going. I hope there are no mobs down here. Let's just walk fast, fast, fast. Down, down, down. Come on, run, run, run. And let's get that map back to where it belongs on the wall. And yeah, I think that we can see. I know it is bobbing back and forth right now, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. We are going to soon get it inside, hang it on the wall, and we are going to study it. I brought actually 
both of those maps. Let's see if I can. Yes. This is then the one that is going here. So let's put it up here. There we go. And the other one that I didn't really need to bring out, but I did anyway. So that little blue dot up there, that's my ice farm. Now I have have updated the map so it shows up it's kind of well <laughs> underwhelming i might add but at least you see that there is ice up there it's in the middle of the night but i'm not going to oops yes of course i have that one as you can see it is built it is functional of course it is not finished design-wise because I would need to do something about the outside and I would need to connect it down to the ground because really it can't just hang over like that. I have to have something down from the corner there and down all the way to the ground. But that is for a later date. This is how it currently looks. And yeah, as you can see, we have a walkway up here and that one sticks out and I have to fix this, the entrance to the walkway, of course. And here we have sometimes some snow falling down and uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to let the snow layers stay there because I don't think I want to take them out. Okay, here we are. This is it. And I have put up chests and crafting tables and all of these chests are empty by the way. So what we are going to do is collect every single piece here that we have of uh, these uh, wonderful blocks. And then I'm going to put them in, uh, craft them into blue eyes, and then I'm going to put them into the chests. And then I'm going to see how much we actually get out of it. I know I could have calculated it, but today I feel a bit, well, I just want to play Minecraft, okay? Uh, that's an excuse that I am sure you understand. I just want to play Minecraft. This is going to be fun. This is going to be the ice farm. Hopefully that can um, help the server build some nice ice related things and stuff. And in the future, I'm going to start um, designing the outside a little bit. Make this look nice because right now it's very bad. It's dark and monsters spawn and it looks ugly. But the most important thing, it is functional. It works. And I am now going to start testing it out.
And now that I have put all the ice in a chest, we can open it and we can see that we are getting almost a double chest of ordinary ice. Now, how much will that amount to if we get it into the packed form? Packed. We are getting one ice block and one, two, three, four, five and change stacks of packed ice. We get a total of 37 blue ice and one extra 37 from this whole thing. That doesn't seem much, does it? It also explains why I am going to make a store and that blue ice. Well, it is not going to be very cheap. It is going to have to be a little bit expensive. But the packed and the regular ice will be a lot cheaper. I have actually been given a plot at Wolfbro for a store. And I am going to go there in the next episode, build a store put some ice in and start selling it at the Wolf Brew Shopping District. The blue ice unfortunately is going to have to be a little bit expensive due to the fact it takes so much regular ice to make blue, but the packed and the regular ice is going to be a lot cheaper. So if you just are out for regular ice, it's going to be very cheap. If you're out for packed ice, it's going to be a reasonable price. And if you're out for blue ice, I'm unfortunately going to have to give you the sad, sad news that it is going to be a little bit expensive. This is Jutlike reporting from the middle of the night in Minecraft. For those of you with a keen eye for detail, you have already discovered the flaw of my design for the ice farm. Let me show you if you didn't notice already. There are a few blocks along here that have not frozen. They are just one block too close to the sea lanterns. That is what I assume, because you see all the blocks around it has frozen, but not the water block just beneath where the sea lantern is sitting. This means I am going to have to lift the sea lantern one block higher. And that is exactly what I am going to do. I am going to get some more mossy cobblestone walls and I am going to put them down there and lift the sea lanterns on top of them. So after I have done that, this will finally be a complete ice farm. 
and here we are. I have just finished updating the ice farm. As you can see, I have now cobblestone walls under the sea lanterns and the ice is freezing. The last wall that I placed was that below beneath me there. As you can see, the water has not frozen yet, but uh, all the way across it has frozen along uh, this side. And it's only a matter of time before the one water block just above my shoulder there is going to freeze as well. So now my ice farm is finally done <laughs> and I can start harvesting for real. This time it is goodbye. I'll see you next week. Shoot like, out.